If you're looking for a fast, reliable, and secure VPN service, consider Pravado VPN. Pravado VPN can be set up on all the major OSs and mobile devices along with smart TVs and routers. And in this video, I'll go over setting up a Synology NAS as a VPN client using the OpenVPN configuration files provided by Pravado VPN. Before going on, I'd like to cover some of the benefits that Pravado VPN offers with their service. First, Pravado VPN offers a free plan providing 10 gigs of data every 30 days with no ads, no speed limiting, and no data logging. The main limitations with their free plan are the number of servers and locations you'll be able to connect to, along with being restricted to one concurrent connection. If you'd like to sign up for an unlimited plan, you could do so for as little as $5 per month, which expands your connection options to servers in 57 cities worldwide and the ability to connect up to 10 concurrent devices. Pravado VPN is also a Switzerland-based company, allowing them to take advantage of the best data protection laws worldwide and the ability to operate a true no-log VPN service. A core difference with Pravado VPN compared to other VPN service providers is their IP backbone network and server infrastructure that the company owns and operates directly. This allows Pravado VPN to provide exceptional performance with their VPN service. Pravado VPN offers free and easy to use apps for Windows, macOS, Android, and iOS, along with a few other platforms, and provides detailed setup instructions for additional platforms as well. Lastly, Pravado VPN has customer support specialists available 24 7 through either live chat or email. To learn more about the features and services provided by Pravado VPN, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below, which is also an affiliate link. So if you sign up, you'll be supporting this channel as well. Now let's get to setting up a Synology NAS as a VPN client using Pravado VPN and their OpenVPN configuration files. The first thing to do is download Pravado VPN's OpenVPN zip file, which I'll link to in the description below. Next, you'll need to extract the contents of the zip file, which I've already done, to access the configuration files that you'll be able to use. You'll notice each file begins with three letters, which corresponds to airport codes for the general location where the server is located. Have a look in the description below for airport codes and corresponding locations and select a configuration file you'd like to use. I'll be using a Los Angeles configuration file, but it requires a few changes before we'll be able to use it on our Synology NAS. We'll get this error message about the file containing invalid parameters if we try to use it currently. What I'll do is bring up the configuration file in a text editor and adjust the settings required to allow it to work with a Synology NAS, specifically running DSM-7. The lines that need to be changed are the data ciphers line, which needs to be changed to cipher, and the data ciphers fallback line that needs to be commented out with a hashtag or number sign symbol. I'll save the changes, close the file, and now the configuration file should be ready for use. Now within DSM, I'll bring up the network control panel, then switch to the network interface tab. Here, I'll select Create VPN Profile to bring up the VPN Connection Method window, select Open VPN, and click Next. From the General Settings window, I'll enter in a profile name for the connection, along with my Pravado VPN username and password. I'll then import in the Open VPN configuration file that I just edited by clicking Browse and select the file. That's it from here, so I'll click Next to continue. From the Advanced Settings window, I'll select both the Use Default Gateway on Remote Network and Allow Other Network Devices to Connect Through This Synology Server's Internet Connection, then click Done. If all goes well, I'll return to the Network Interface tab and the Pravado VPN connection should be listed as one of the interfaces, as we see here. To make use of the new VPN connection, I'll select it from the list of interfaces, then click Connect. Now we see that the connection is established and we can start making use of the connection, which I cover in detail in the video listed here on screen. 
Hopefully this video on setting up Pravada VPN on your Synology NAS was helpful and make sure to like this video if it was. Also consider subscribing to this channel and supporting my work by checking out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.